In this video, I'm going to talk about sequence, selection and iteration, the three important tenets of any program or any algorithm. Now, I've previously described an algorithm as a series of instructions that a computer program has to go through to manipulate the data that it's been given. Now, there are three different ways that that data algorithm can be gone through. The first is called sequence. Now, sequence is as simple as it sounds. Run through a sequence of events. Do this, then this, then this, then this. And all it is is a list of step by step what has to happen. Now, if all computer programs only did sequencing, every computer program would actually do exactly the same thing every time you ran it, which isn't actually the way that computer programs need to work. You might need to make some changes based on what data you've actually given the program. For that, we have an, an extra area, if you like, called selection. Now, selection allows you to put some criteria together that gives a value of either true or false. So um, you're looking at Boolean logic for this. For example, you might have the criteria, if x is less than 12, run this piece of code. So if x is less than 12, if x less than 12 equals true, run this piece of code. So this allows us to have branches in our program which go off depending on what the data is that we're actually manipulating at the time. The other item that we have is iteration. Now iteration is just a fancy word for a loop, i.e. do something multiple times. You have two major types of loop. The first is called a fixed loop where it will do something exactly so many times every time it runs the program. For example, you might have uh, 10 items and you might want to add a number one to every one of those items. So it'll do a loop of 10 times, we'll go around on that one, then that one, then that one, then that one, then that one, done. Otherwise, there might be a do this until a condition becomes true. So it'll run through some code, check the condition. If the condition's still false, it'll run through that code again. Condition still false, run through that code again. Or it might do a condition that's like a while condition, which means that while something is true, do this. Is it still true? Do this. Is it still true? Do this. These three elements make up every single way of writing a computer program. Sequence for step by step. Selection to introduce branches into the code based on the data that you have in your program. And iteration to produce loops and do things over and over again.